college, I didn't really have a real strong notion what chemical engineers do. I didn't know what to expect when I was in school. Well, basically, I thought a uh, chemical engineer was, was some nerd and uh, three floors underground uh, <laughs> on a computer all day, right? <laughs> and I'm glad to find out it's, it's not that. But what I'm actually doing is different than I thought I was going to be doing. I've done, you know, environmental work. I've done mechanical engineering work. I think that there's a lot of opportunity in engineering for different types of careers um, that I didn't see when I was in college. So at times it can be a thankless job. At times it's a incredibly challenging job. Chemical engineering is just so diversified that I never really expected how many areas in the world and in industries across the world need chemical engineers. And if you like a certain aspect of science or business or technology, you can fit chemical engineering in there somehow. I see chemical engineers as kind of the bridge between basic science and a manufacturing process. We put kind of make take an idea, make it a reality, make it profitable for the company. There is the technical side of it, and there's a whole world of, of other skills that are, are combined when you actually get into a job. And each job is different. You find that the jobs are much broader than what you think of as a typical engineering job. You know, I might work on a project in forest products or in energy services or petroleum and chemicals or power. Any product that you pick up, probably a chemical engineer worked on, from a toothbrush to the chair you're sitting on. So it's incredible what chemical engineers are used for nowadays. Typically, I'm responsible for um, managing our area equipment integrity team. Um, I keep our plan on track with our predictive and preventative maintenance on all of our major equipment pieces. Right now, I'm working in um, product development area of Procter & Gamble, which is uh, basically the research uh, and development group. Uh, specifically, I'm working on hair care technology development, and my current project is to develop a uh, new shampoo formulation. Right now we're in construction. We have a $1.3 million project where we're upgrading our bulk facility on site. And my job right now, or my project, is to make sure that that's managed correctly. So if I'm not in a meeting, I'm downstairs with the construction workers or with our construction manager and making sure that everything is put in, in, in the right place or it's up to the standards that we hold. I'm on, in an R&D program. It's a job where you're actually developing a process or a product. I work in a central uh, engineering organization and I really play the role of a technical consultant to all the different areas that make liquids, that have liquids related problems. The job I do is more of a general engineering. The units that I'm working with are um, cartridge actuated devices. They are units that are used in the air crew escape systems in aircraft. Um, they propel the, the sequence, like it, it starts at when the, the pilot pushes a button, it goes through a certain sequence till he actually gets out of the plane. I work in the manufacturing engineering group on inkjet print heads. I help along with analytical chemists, so organic chemists, and uh, pilot plant personnel deliver bulk drug pharmaceutical to clinical trials for safety and testing. My department is the technical support group for the manufacturing facility. I do process development on the cell culture processes that we use to make uh, pharmaceuticals. Jeff peanut butter, for example, um, how do you uh, pump it and how do you mix it and cool it as you're manufacturing it in the plant? Is it smooth and is it creamy? Does it have those kinds of attributes that the consumer will like to buy? So we also measure those kinds of properties so that we can help uh, people who are formulating the products to really formulate them better. I uh, work on environmental health and safety assessments and audits uh, where we go out and we speak to general managers and uh, line managers at each of our manufacturing sites and, and assess the maturity of their environmental health and safety programs. When a chemical comes into commerce in the United States, whenever it's going to be manufactured, processed, or used in any quantity, or in certain quantities, it has to go through a review process and the engineers in my branch uh, review that chemical for any potential uh, exposure to the workers uh, or people who may be using that chemical during its lifetime. I worked on um, production support and improvement. 
basically solve any kind of bottlenecks that they came across within production and also to improve the production. A very large part of the responsibilities of any university professor is uh, the conducting of research. But particularly professors in the physical sciences, like a chemical engineering professor, they're required to have supported research, submit proposals to acquire their support, and direct the research of graduate students. We're involved with the equipment that, that produces all the, the drugs. We have the scientists who create the process and they say we need to do this, that, and the other thing in order to produce this drug. And then they come to engineering and they let engineering know that we need the equipment to produce, this, you know, to make this, that, and the other thing. And so that's where we step in and we design a facility that will have all the utilities that they need. As a process engineer in this type of a role, one of the main responsibilities of your job is to provide daily support to your unit. And what that would mean is troubleshooting problems that go wrong in the plant or um, trying to find ways to run your plant better. Research and development is a place where um, you're faced with a problem and you have to find a way to answer that problem. So you're constantly looking for answers and ways to apply those answers. We're always searching out and developing new technologies, superior products, but we're also doing it in a way that we're going to develop that product for a profit. We're going to sell that product. So it's a, it's a real world application of the engineering field. There is no such thing as a typical day. Yeah, each, each day, who knows what's going to happen. Sometimes I'm testing, sometimes I'm uh, writing reports, analyzing data. I'm product planner on the specialty imaging media. If you're developing inks, you know, you're in the lab working with technicians, running tests. What I'm doing now is more of like uh, product coordination for release of new products, dealing with marketing, getting requirements, putting together product objectives and functional specifications. I'm functioning more as a role of coordination of, of new product releases and getting out the packaging for those new products as far as I'm not personally designing it, but I review it. I decide what the product's going to look like, you know, obviously with input from marketing and engineering. I work with the design center, uh, graphic artists. I work with printer people to talk with them about what they're expecting, what types of um, specialty papers and media that they're needing to promote their products, if there's new product applications, um, what new products we need to be thinking of to go along with those. What I like about it is just the variety of different contacts I have across the site. You get a really wide breadth of exposure to different areas. In the engineering construction field, our projects tend to range anywhere from between a couple months to a couple years. If you come with me one week, you might think it was pretty boring, but over an over entire life of project, uh, you get to do a lot of different things. Once we get a job, there's a lot of technical things that, that we do. Everything from helping the client uh, with his design basis on a certain process. Uh, we also do a lot of um, consulting with the other disciplines. But pretty much process engineers will pick up and, and start the ball rolling on a project and we'll develop flow diagrams and material balances and, and the typical um, process design type, type activities. But I want to emphasize that in my experience, I'm not limited to just the technical aspects of my job. Um, I'm, I'm involved in sales proposals, I'm involved in the estimating, the scheduling, the budgeting, um, everything you now through even client contacts, vendor contacts. So my technical job is there, but there's so much more than just the technical aspect that, that, that we do every single day. Environmental issues come up uh, all the time. There are always developments in, in different uh, areas in policy and things like that. Usually uh, it starts out with the pre-manufacturing notification. I will go ahead and, and pick up, uh, I guess, the submitted data from the manufacturer. Um, I will review that data and then make the assessment of the different occupational exposures as well as the uh, any environmental releases. 